Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving in deep to one of my favorite rye distilleries of all time. It's Sagamore Spirits Night on Bourbon Bill. Probably the most overdue video on this channel. I know, I know. If you watch my 10 Rye Whiskeys of the Year, you thought we already had a Sagamore Spirits Night on Bourbon Bill. Spoiler, go watch that, but spoiler, they placed very high. In fact, they swept the podium in 2022. So, what I have behind me is, is all the Sagamore Spirits I have. My loving wife, Rita, poured these blind for me. And we'll just see if, uh, you know, my predictions hold true for my 2022 Rye Whiskey of the Year. I'm just going to give you some tasting notes and just a little bit about the bottles. First up, probably everybody's introduction, perhaps, to Sagamore Spirits, the Double Oak. Double Oak Two Barrel here. Coming in at 96.6 .6 proof. Compute, compute, 48.3%. Alcohol by volume. A delicious, delicious bottle. One of the best double oak ryes to exist on the planet. Caught four and a half year old MGP rye. Finished for a year and a half. In a new toasted wave stave barrel. And my god, can we see the color on this? Dark as can be. Next up, the darling of many for 2022. The Sagamore Spirit Sherry Finish from their Reserve Series. Uh, widely regarded as one of the best things they've ever done. A 2022 release, of course, Sherry, coming in at 106 proof. Compute, compute, 53% alcohol by volume. This one was four-year-old MGP, finished for a year and a half in PX Sherry Barrels. Alright, I'm here for it. Oh, I forgot to mention, MSRP on the, on the Double Oak is about 50 to 60. MSRP on this was about 75. Just FYI. Next up, Sagamore Spirits Store Pick. Shout out to the Lehigh Valley Bourbon Drinkers Group. If you're from the Lehigh Valley in PA, sign up, folks. It's a great group. Now, this was a seven-year MGP pick from them, coming in at 110 proof. Compute, compute, 55% alcohol by volume. Uh, also from MGP, price on this bad boy was like 60 bucks. Where are you finding seven-year MGP rye these days for 60 doll hairs? Let me know. Let me know. Well, here it is, folks. My Rye Whiskey of 2022. It is the Port Finish Sagamore Spirits Reserve Series. Originally released in 2019, but re-released in 2022. This is the 2022 release. It is a six-year-old MGP Rye finished for two years and nine months in Bordy Vineyard Port Casks. Go watch my two videos linked above. It not only won my Rye Whiskey of the Year, but it put to shame the High West Midnight Winner's Dram this year. Just stomped on it like a damn bug on the street. Like a dead squirrel hit by a car tire. This demolished Midnight Winner's Dram for 90 doll hairs. Now the sad part about this release is that it was pretty much distillery only. Last but not least, this is a Sagamore Spirit distillery exclusive rum agrigal cask finish. You might say, Bourbon Bill, I've heard of the rum cask finish. What's this gem? Well, this gem here is 101 proof, compute, compute, 50.5% alcohol by volume, distillery only release of 
a blend of four to five year old MGP rye finished for two years in rum agrigal casks. So the regular rum finish that you guys see out there in the streets is a four year old MGP rye finished for a year in rum casks. So this is an extra year of finishing and a blend of four and five year old. Um, this was like 60 or 70 bucks at the distillery. Um, distillery exclusive. Uh, we, I blind tasted this at the distillery versus the rum, uh, the regular rum cast finish. This was better. Uh, as you can see, I've quite enjoyed it and sadly uh, will never again since it was a distillery exclusive. All right, well, let's dive into them, right? Nothing else. What else are we waiting on? The gold. You'll know what these are to be on your screen. I do not. God, good lord, that smells good. Oh, this is red fruit bomb for days. Mmm. Very deep, dark, and rich. I'm getting cherries, like plums. Dates, raisins, tons of, del my mouth is watering. There's so much caramel on here. Faint hint of oak in the background. Let's take a sip. Holy shit. One of the best things I've ever tasted. I bet that's the port. Oh. I get... Graham crackers, chocolate, cherry, plum, fig, raisin. There's definitely a heavy red fruit characteristic, which I think comes from the port. All right, the blue. Ooh. This has a little bit of, like, coconut going on to it. A little more chocolate. A little more toasted wood notes going on here as well. Also still very red fruit. Very deep, dark, and rich. Let's take a sip. God. This is going to be so hard. Both of these so far have been A++ buys. That one was a little bit thinner. I got like a coconut toasted note to it. My guess is that one could be the double oak. Fantastic. All right. Up in the black. Ooh. This one's way sweeter. A little bit of funkiness to it on the nose. Smells a little Caribbean in nature. Could that be the rum? Let's take a sip. A little bit of sweet spiciness going on there. Kind of tastes like rum. Got a little bit of that rum sweetness, which really adds to just on top of the rye spice. Next up, the red. Let's give it a nose. Oh. Oh. This just has delicious rye aromas. I almost get a banana note, which is odd. I don't normally get that on Sagamore rye. But I get a generic sweet rye with a little bit of a little hint of banana for some odd reason tonight. Let's take a sip. An amazing burst of fruits. And I mean like, we're talking pineapple, pears. Definitely brighter fruits, like a fruit cocktail on the glass. Definitely very viscous in the mouth. This might be the seven year last but certainly not least, the green. Oh, man, does that smell good. This is all like, it's all like strawberries, fig. It's definitely a finished one for sure. This is very red fruity. Let's take a sip. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Exactly what I said, you get 
I think this is a sherry. You get definitely the sherry influence, the red fruits. I get like dried strawberries on here with the rice, but it's very well integrated. Um, I'm feeling very confident on my guesses here. So let me go back through these off camera, rank them, and come back to you fine folks. And we're back. So my order did change around quite a bit upon second sips and back and forth. I'm now no longer confident in anything I said. All these A++ buys. Every single one you should be buying. All right, uh, let's get into uh, the answer key. In last place, but certainly not least, green. Green was the double oak. I love a double oak. It got last because it, it ended up with a with a slight youthy note. I, I think I think if they aged it like an additional year before they double oaked it, or they double oaked it for like six more months, that will get that will go away. That's all I'm gonna say about it. But it is fantastic. It is one of the best double oaks I've ever had in a rye. It is always kept on the shelf here at Bourbon Bill. In fourth place, the red was the rum agrigal finish. So the finish really smoothed it out, made it very sweet. Um, didn't have even a hint of youth on it. Very good, very viscous on the mouth. It's more of a summer rye, I will say. Got fourth. Third place was black. Black was the sherry finish. So this won a lot of people's rye of the year. Um, it was widely released. If you see a Sagamore sherry finish, you shall pick it up. I'm commanding you to pick it up. It is that good. It is a hitter. A bouquet of delicious fruits. At 106 proof, it's, it's perfect. I really can't say enough good things about it. It's so well done. In first place, we'll skip second. In first place, blue was the port. So not... I think I guess he's wrong originally, but what I ended up with was what I ended up with in my 2022 Rye Whiskey of the Year. The port is, is, is phenomenal, but it is distillery only. So I realize most of you will not be able to get that. Unless you were near the distillery, you could not get the port. My real winner then beyond the port was the gold, which was the seven year store pick. Again, that's a pick. Um, but Sagamore is slowly releasing more seven year picks. Uh, that's the secret. So there's a bunch of six years out there. They're very good. I've had some of them. The seven years are on another level. So if you can find a seven year pick, and if you can try it before you buy it, do so, you will be blown away. So the moral of this story is, Sagamore is killing the rye game. There is no other rye on the market right now that's as good as Sagamore, and that's the truth. Beyond very limited edition runs like the Maryland Heritage series, check out my video on that, link above. Uh, but those are 14 year MGP ryes, okay? We're not gonna replicate those, very limited. Beyond them, nobody else is doing rye quite as well. And that's the bottom line. So if you like what we saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button. We're very close to a thousand subscribers. So come on, help me out. Once we get to that thousand, I can tell my wife I'm making thousands from this YouTube channel. Then more whiskey becomes available for me to review. So keep that in mind. Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening.